next game is Wolfenstein 3D and I guess everybody knows this game, it's a first person shooter and this is a good example of a game that came with an overlay but the overlay is actually not that useful at all because you can only bring up the map, you can bring up the music options and you can save the game. You, can, uh, you can't um, choose the weapons or anything and this is actually the only thing that I can criticize in this game, Wolfenstein 3D, that you can't change your weapons. You will always use the strongest weapon. But except for that, this is the best version and the best looking version of uh, Wolfenstein 3D that I ever played. And I played the PC version, I played the 3DO version, and yeah, this is really a great port of Wolfenstein 3D. The next game is Jacket Flag and yeah, this is a racing game. But it's not a good game, this is actually one of the worst games and the problem with the game is that, well first of all the graphics are actually not bad especially for the time when this game was released but this game has a couple of issues now for number one it has pop-ups uh, graphic wise and also when you drive around pretty fast then uh, the pop-ups get worse and it also looks like that the frame rate has a couple of problems so a lot of times it happens that you can't react to the track or any other things like an opponent that is right in front of you and you crash into the car and I would actually say that the controls are too sensitive for the most part so you push a little bit too much in one direction and yeah you're completely off the track and also uh, this game also has a couple of views uh, including a cockpit view but with the cockpit view it's almost impossible to play this game so the only way to really play this game is by taking the view far from behind so I can't really recommend this game this is really one of the worst games for the uh, Atari Jaguar Next game is Pinball Fantasies and this is a really cool pinball game. This is a port from the Commodore Amiga and yeah, you can choose between one of four um, pinball tables. You got Party Land, you got Speed Devils, Billion Dollar uh, Game Show Flipper and Stones and Bones, which is a horror flipper. And this game has really nice graphics, the music is pretty cool and yeah, um, I'm a huge fan of this game on the Commodore Amiga, I played this uh, so many times and yeah, this is a really good part of the game and I can really recommend this game to anybody who likes pinball games. So this is really a very cool game for the Atari Jaguar.
the next game is Doom. And yeah, this is also a very great port from the PC, one of the best looking ports of this game. And yeah, I also guess that everybody knows Doom, it's also a first person shooter and the only thing that everybody criticized, and I kinda agree, that this game doesn't have music during the levels. The game has the original music, but um, you will only hear it on the end of a level. And yeah, I also don't know if this was made on purpose. A couple of people say that uh, they made that on purpose and it helps the atmosphere just hearing the enemies and only the weapons. But who knows, maybe the game was rushed. But also again, I really can recommend this game for the Atari Jaguar, one of the best games for the Atari Jaguar. next game is Kasumi Ninjas and it is a beat em up in the style of uh, Mortal Kombat. Funny thing, uh, with this game you got a free headband with the logo of Kasumi Ninjas. I don't have it but the game was released with this headband. And yeah, also not really a great game for the Atari Jaguar. Also a lot of people say that this is the uh, one of the worst fighting games. And yes, I also would agree it is one of the worst, but it's not the worst um, beat em up or fighting game. The characters are mm, uninspired a little bit or actually weird, especially the Scottish guy and also the, the Indian guy and yeah. Not really great uh, characters to choose from. You start with two characters and in order to play any other characters you have to beat them. So you kind of unlock um, the other characters by beating them. The graphics of this game are actually not bad. The, the game actually looks pretty decent. But the controls are, yeah, not really that responsive and uh, you make all the special moves with the C button by holding the C button down. I will say it like that, you can have fun with this game but it's not an easy game and yeah, if you wanna have a laugh then I would recommend it but don't expect a really good fighting game. The next game is Power Drive Rally and this is a very good racing game with really beautiful graphics, fast gameplay, the controls are pretty good and at the beginning of the game you only have a couple of bucks and you can only buy a slow car and later on by winning races you earn money and then you can um, buy better cars and so on and so on. And and this game really has an arcade feeling. So this is one of the games that I would highly recommend to everybody who likes racing games. And this is really a great game for the Atari Jaguar. Next game is Veldizir Skiing and Snowboarding. Yeah, and this is a sports game and the title says it all. You can ski around or snowboard around. And yeah, there's actually not that much to say about this game. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of sports games, but the graphics are actually decent. The game speed is pretty high. 
which can also be very difficult because a lot of times when you ski around from one hill to the other that sometimes you can't really see where you're going. So it can happen a lot of times that you get off the track or that you crash in any kind of obstacle. But yeah, overall for a sports game it's actually not bad and I guess if you like those kind of games then I guess I can really recommend this game to everybody who likes skiing and snowboarding on the Atari Jaguar. The next game is Iron Soldier and this is a mech simulator and yeah this is also one of the uh, games that most of the people say it is one of the best games for the Atari Jaguar and yeah I also agree that this is a very good game. The graphics uh, actually for the time were pretty good, not 100% impressive but really good for 3D graphics and also the, um, the game speed is pretty high. It only has uh, some slowdowns if there are a lot of explosions on the screen but it's really a cool game. I haven't played that much but yeah it's, it's actually a lot of fun and the only weapons that you have at the beginning are your fists and a big gun. But later on you can unlock uh, all kinds of grenades and rocket launchers and miniguns and yeah all kinds of stuff and yeah I also would say that this is a pretty cool game and I also would recommend it to everybody who likes those kind of games like Mech Simulations. The next game is Ultra Fortech. And yeah, it's like Kasumi Ninjas, it is a beat them up in the style of Mortal Kombat. But this is much more better than Kasumi Ninjas. And actually this game would have been something special because um, the Atari also wanted to release for the Atari Jaguar a modem. And this would be one game that would have supported the, the modem so you could actually play online against another player. But yeah, sadly the modem was never released. Okay, now the graphics in this game are actually not bad. All the characters look uh, interesting, let's call it like that. And also the, the speed of the game and the controls are also pretty nice and yeah. This is really one of the better uh, beat'em up games for the Atari Jaguar and I would actually recommend this game to anybody who likes beat'em ups in the style of Mortal Kombat. You also have finishing moves, also Kasumi Ninja had, had finishing moves but they were kind of ridiculous and yeah. I would really recommend Ultra Vortec for the Atari Jaguar.